What's up, YouTube? Sad Child's 405 coming at you on the Warpath. Warpath Wednesday. Got a few thoughts of the stuff that's went on this past week. Starting out with Josh Norman. You're going to see the graphic when you click on the video. Um, apparently him not telling Jay Gruden about the... Um, the situation with him joining Fox Sports and, you know, whether that's a distraction or not. I, I really think, I, hopefully Jay has a sense of humor about it. I, I think that he had to know about it. Someone in the team had to know about it. Tony Wiley, the PR man, has to know this stuff. Um, whether Norman did it or not, I, I, I mean, you know, there's probably would be some internal disciplinary actions for it. But me looking at it as a fan... I don't, I'm not a big fan of if he didn't tell them first, and that's, it's all quintessential on the word, if. Uh, but, you know, it's his spare time, like he said, it's his spare time, and he can do what he want to, uh, but he's got a lot to prove. I mean, you know, one season he had was really good, and that was last season in 2015 for the Panthers. Now he's got to prove he's worth the money. He has a lot of uh, credit to his uh, name right now. Uh, highest rated corner on Madden. A lot of people are upset about that. Patrick Peterson was pissed. Um, so you know, and Josh Norman said, "Don't put your name, don't put my name in your mouth," and rightfully so. I mean, he deserves that position. He played well, but. It's all about what can you do for me now in the NFL, and we're, we're going to see that uh, coming up, you know, uh, sample size here tomorrow night on Thursday uh, against the Falcons down there in Hotlanta. And, you know, also some other stuff I was looking at, you know, it looks like Steve Steven Daniels, the linebacker um, out of Boston College, is going to miss the rest of the season. Looks like he was picked up on waivers, and he's going to go on an IR. So, you know, tough for him, but I... It's a position that we have a lot of depth. And the Skins released the first depth chart, uh, unofficial depth chart as they call it. And some interesting notes, Kedrick Olsen's going to be starting nose tackle. Um, Kedrick sees the longest tenure Redskin. I, I really like him. Um, I've always liked him. I think he's been a cool dude whenever he's done an interview. And he's getting what he deserves, honestly, to be back in the starting role. And not just as a, you know, a reserve lineman so we'll see how that goes Sewer Craven's going to be the second um will linebacker uh the third excuse me so that's interesting thought he would be up there in the safety position but I guess he's just not panning out there um it looks like uh Will Blackman is going to be behind D'Angelo Hall in the free safety lineup and uh you know we'll see how that goes there's been a lot of talk about um Marshall the guy um the guy from um, Georgia, the running back, they like his speed. Jay likes his speed. The whole team does. So it, they might have the potential um, to have a good backfield. And, you know, one thing I'm going to tell you, uh, that backfield is going to be dread locked down. So I guess you can call that the lockdown, the dread lockdown backfield with him and Matt Jones. And I, I'm really curious to see. And coming up, uh, tomorrow, I'm going to release a video. It's called Thursday Thoughts. I talked a little bit about this last week. It's just going to preview our opponents. Um, it, it's about, it's going to be about the Falcons. It's going to be about the skins, matchups to look for, and, you know, just going down their roster and, you know, what to expect and, you know, what I think to expect in that regard. I think we, I think we should have a good, uh, show. It's preseason as always, and I'm not going to get too much into that, but, uh, you know, I always like to see the first team uh, run down the field, score, and get off the field. I always, uh, you know, it, it's an injury-prone league. And, you know, even going back to the preseason, I don't know what the hell the NFL was thinking with this um, with this Hall of Fame game. What in the world? You sit there, you prepare for this stuff for a year, and Tom Benson, the owner of the Saints, gives $11 million to them to get this taken care of so they don't have problems like that. They've had problems with the field before. And for some reason, you can't play on a damn high school field because you used the wrong paint? I don't get that. And, and I mean, you know, just for 10, it, it's gone on to show you whether whose fault it is that the obscurity of the league since Roger Goodell became commissioner of the National Football League. And yeah, unfortunately, guys, we made it through 10 years of this indignant bastard right now. And I mean, I'm not a fan of Roger Goodell. I don't know anybody who's a fan of football, how he 
how you could he or she be a fan of Mr. Goodell. Um, I think he's detrimental to the game. I think he's detrimental to the teams. Um, the only thing I can really say, if you're a Redskins fan, Roger Goodell doesn't put on pressure to, you know, change the name and everything like that. But that's a different story for a different day. Check that video out. It's back there somewhere. Um, and, uh, but just, and that's just big thoughts. And, you know, going back to the Josh Norman thing, um, Max Kellerman was on first take and he was talking about, oh, he did it the right way, blah, 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 and everything like that. I think it's a distraction. Um, I think it'll show on his field because he's going to have to go out to L.A. during the bye week. Yeah, that's his time, but still. Um, and he has an issue. Norman has an issue with it being, you know, his, like his side job. Yeah, I, I mean, it's like being a doctor and going out moonlighting somewhere else. You know, some hospitals don't like that because you're not at your best. And that's a big thing, um, you know. So we'll see how it proceeds and everything. I'm looking forward to it. Stay on the lookout tomorrow for Thursday Thoughts, and I'll be pre previewing the Atlanta Falcons. I'm not going too much into that. And one more thing before I leave. If you get a chance to look at it, Kirk Cousins, this boy must love him some cookout. Y'all need to go and check the uh, story out on that. And I thought it was really funny. He's trying to... He's thinking about pulling money together so they can open one up in Ashburn so they can have it the whole time. And if you've ever been anywhere, especially in Virginia, if you've been to, like, Blacksburg or any other place, I, I first tried it in Blacksburg, and I was really impressed. Uh, good food uh, <laughs> for a small amount of money. But I'm going to get off of here. Uh, coming up is Thursday Thoughts again. You'll see that. Um, Thursday, I'll try to have that up Thursday evening, uh, right before the game. And also I might try to live stream it on Pan, uh, not Pandora, but Periscope. I keep on forgetting the name of it. So, you know, follow me at Sanchez 405 on there and I'll leave the links in the description as always love, peace and hail. And I'll be talking to you later. I'm out.